Hi, I'm Betsy Lamb. I work for New York State Integrated Pest Management. And one of the things we're looking at today is sanitation in greenhouses. Um, sanitation is kind of the, ba the basis for pest management. If, without sanitation, you'll start finding that pests will build up on weeds in your greenhouse, or you'll have other sources of food for the pests, um, even if you're trying to keep your plants clean. So this greenhouse has uh, several examples of sanitation that are, that are really nice to see, and some that are not so good. So that's usually true in most greenhouses. There's always a few things that can be improved. One of the ones we like to see is this. The hose ends are hung up. So they're not laying on the ground, they're not laying on the benches, they're not as likely to pick up disease organisms, and it keeps them dry so that you don't build anything up that you would then spread from plant to plant. Another one is if you look at these benches, you can see that they're dry. That helps with having um, a system of irrigation that is um, drip irrigation to the pot so you don't have a lot of water running over the surface of the benches. But with the dry bench, you don't see very much algae building up there. And with, that, with, with less algae, you'll find less shore flies. And um, that'll help keep your crop clean as well. Another good thing to see is if you look under these benches, the weeds are dead. Um, you know, it's hard to say that there's no good weed but a dead weed, but in a greenhouse that's true. Um, if, you f if you have weeds in your greenhouse, you may also find that there are insects that are living on those weeds, sometimes diseases, and it's just another source of, of inoculum for your, the, the crop in your greenhouse that you're interested in growing. Um, one of the things that we don't like to see as much is this is a, a um, <coughs> bin that you might put cuttings or plant material that you've been removing. Um, we like to see them covered because if you're putting disease plant materials in there or if there's thrips or aphids or, or mites or anything on the plant, on white flies, they'll actually come up out of the material that's in the bin as it dries down and it's less inviting for them and they'll spread out into your crop. So it's pretty easy to put a lid on it um, and then as often as possible. It's hard when you're always doing the cuttings to keep the lid on all the time, but as much as possible, keep it covered. Another thing to look at is concrete floor. This one we're looking at just before it gets cleaned. It's about to be power washed, but that helps keep the soil from building up on it. Um, you can see soil will get in the cracks and you can get weed seeds falling in those cracks and starting to grow. We pulled up the one we saw. <laughs> so um, keeping it clean and power washing it gets rid of some of the soil that will build up uh, in, in the greenhouse also. All right. Here's something else that, that uh, is another sanitation me method. It's using some kind of disinfectant. This is a quaternary ammonium product and there are several that you can use. It can be used for washing down benches, um, but what um, Mark's using it for here is to clean pots. This doesn't look very good right at the moment, <laughs> and this is what will happen is you'll start seeing organic material from the soil and the pots and so forth building up, and it does affect the, the activity of the product. But um, one of the things they do that's good is they keep track of when they change the solution so that they know how long it's been there. It is possible to get test strips so you can test the activity of the, in this one in particular, this type in, in particular, um, but sometimes if you use, some people will use bleach and that's one that breaks down much more quickly with both light and um, organic matter. And so with this, pro this type of product, quaternary ammonium salts, um, they hold up a little bit better to this kind of organic matter being in there. 